Alright, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're going to be talking about that Saharan dust that you might have heard about that is coming to the United States. We're going to be talking about all of that in today's video. Now, before I get started with this video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content, and also make sure to share this video with your friends, family, and social media. Now, for today's comment of the day, which is actually going to be an appropriate comment, uh, do you think that you prefer sunsets or sunrises? Let me know in the comments down below and why. And I'll be picking one of those for tomorrow's video. And the reason I ask that is because Saharan dust is known for making sunsets and sunrises much, much more beautiful and more red tinted. So it might be a good opportunity to go out and see that as this is happening. So let's go ahead and talk about what this means. So here is by today and you can see in Africa we have plenty of it the lighter yellows and whites that's where we have a lot of it and you know the blues and the purples that's where we have a little bit the purples and the oranges there in red colors is more of the moderate shades in those more darker turquoise colors that's where we practically have none uh, so just to get you guys familiar with kind of the color table we're using here let's go ahead and move on and look at the Atlantic Ocean on this same frame and you can see it's actually reached far west. Uh, Virgin Islands, some areas in South America are, are very close to where this is extending to. And this is actually very far west compared to what's typical already. But we are going to see this thing track much further west. And it's actually going to hit the United States eventually. We'll talk all about that throughout this video. So we're about to move on. And we're just going to take it two days in advance. We're going to head towards Saturday afternoon and just take a look at where we will be by that point. All right, now we're taking a look. You can see it is extended further west. There's a big pocket there, a huge pocket of those very light, almost white colors there. You know, that's where we have very high density of this dust. And this is really going to prohibit tropical activity for the time being. Uh, I want you to know that yesterday's video when we talked about the upcoming potential for hurricane activity and tropical activity that's going to be occurring after this Saharan dust has already moved out so don't worry about that I had a lot of people commenting saying well there's going to be Saharan dust so I don't think it's going to end up happening the Saharan dust will mostly be moved out by the time we're in that the last couple of days of June and the beginning week of July uh, we will still have some in the area but not quite as much as we will be having beforehand so I have taken this into account I knew about this already making tomorrow's video and so we were already aware of that. Just wanted to let some of you know because a lot of people were asking about that. Now, as we take a zoomed in look at the Caribbean here, you can see that there is going to be a little bit there that moves in south of Haiti and Dominican Republic, even there over Puerto Rico as well into the uh, east of Dominican Republic there. Uh, now, that's not our big area that's going to be moving in. We are going to have a much, much bigger pocket of that dust moving in that is just going to be uh, very... Uh, unusual amount of this dust moving in so we're about to move on and take a look at that when we're going to start to see the bigger pockets start to move in all right so here we are and actually we're taking a look at about monday early morning maybe i would say 1 a.m on monday the hour doesn't really matter obviously uh but we can see that this has completely taken over Puerto Rico where we're going to have a high density of this. So if you happen to be watching this video from Puerto Rico, you will already be seeing the beautiful uh, sunrises and sunsets by the time you're seeing the sunrise on Monday morning. So if you're there or maybe in Dominican Republic and Haiti, uh, also any of the uh, Virgin Islands there as well, you are going to be in for beautiful sunrises and sunsets. You might be wondering what are the actual effects of this dust and as far as I know, there's not many negative effects that this dust has on people. Let me know in the comments down below if I'm wrong with that. Maybe breathing difficulty. I, I don't, I'm not really familiar with it. However, I do know that this will really lower the chance for tropical activity. Also, thunderstorm development will be a little bit prohibited as well. Uh, and outside of that, it's really just going to be beautiful sunrises and sunsets. So as far as I know, this isn't really a dangerous type of event or any sort of um, there isn't really any hazards that go along with this as far as I know. But again, if you do know that there is and I'm wrong, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, and I'll pin that comment if that's the case so that people can know. Uh, but as far as I know, there isn't really. And let's go ahead and move it to Tuesday afternoon. So maybe about a day later. And as you can see, that fully takes over the Dominican Republic, Haiti, Jamaica, Cuba, some of the southern Bahamas there as well. It is reaching Central America and portions there like Cozumel and Cancun of Mexico as well. So we are seeing a lot more areas get in this white shades, which again is the extremely high densities of this dust. 
Uh, and this is pretty rare. This isn't very common at all. And especially once it reaches the United States, this is very rare type of event. Uh, and again, it's really going to lead to beautiful sunsets, beautiful sunrises. And for the time being, we're going to have lower probabilities of tropical activity, although we already are because we're not going to be in a favorable rising air motion that I talked about yesterday yet. We're not going to be in that rising air motion yet. So it doesn't really matter. We weren't going to have tropical activity either way. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're about to move on and we're going to move on towards Thursday afternoon and just see when this really reaches the United States. We're going to take a look at when this actually hits Texas and Louisiana. And by the time we're reaching Thursday afternoon here, you can see that it actually is lowering in density on those more eastern sides there. Again, we're moving more into the more moderate shades there, purples and orange shades. That's where we're going to have less impacts from this. Uh, and it's moving more towards a pretty typical amount of dust. Still kind of unusual, but really not as dense as it was before. Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands are already starting to see this kind of fizzle out. Uh, but Cuba, Jamaica, Central America, Mexico, and now even... Texas and portions of Louisiana and maybe even the Mississippi and Alabama coast there, we're really seeing this dense dust start to move in for you guys. So we're just seeing the beginning of it by this point. Let's go ahead and move it towards about Saturday evening and take a look at that. Again, we're only in those moderate shades for the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic and Haiti and Cuba, Bahamas. Even I would say the entire Caribbean by this point isn't in the extremely dense areas by this point. We're mostly just seeing the more moderate areas to slight amounts of dust. So by this point, I would say tropical activity will be possible once again. Uh, so by June 27th, and as we move on further, we're just going to see the dust f fizzle out more and more and more. So uh, tropical activity will be possible in the last few days of June there. But what I want to really focus in on is the United States here. So let's go ahead and zoom in to the United States. And as you can see, states like Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, Georgia, Tennessee, and maybe even Kentucky are all in those very bright yellows. This is highly unusual, uh, and we're even seeing those purples and even more blue shades move into states like Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, even the Dakotas, Iowa, Missouri. Very unusual, like I said before. So what we're going to do is we're about to move on, where we're going to start to see this move to more areas. We're going to move to the end of this model run, uh, and it's going to extend even further than this at you know as we get past where the model run ends. Uh, but the model doesn't go that far, so we won't be able to talk about that yet. So I might need to make an updated video for this in the coming days. We'll have to see how that goes. All right, and this frame is going to be by about Sunday, June 28th here. Uh, and as you can see, we're taking a look at uh, areas like Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, all of those southeast states still in the bright yellows, Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, even North Carolina now, and still Georgia, Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana, Arkansas, Tennessee. Again, sunsets and sunrises, this might be like a very rare type of opportunity to get very beautiful sunrise and sunset pictures that are going to be more beautiful than even what's typical. We can see those brighter blue colors even making their way to Canada. That's going to be a little bit more dust than what is typical. Uh, so for the Dakotas, even Minnesota, Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, even Ohio and West Virginia, Virginia, we're seeing kind of those purplish shades and even pink shades showing up there, which again is the moderate amounts of dust. So pretty much everywhere in the eastern half of the United States is going to see some effects by this. Again, we're going to have to move on further into this model run once we have that available to us, maybe at a later date, and just take a look at what areas really could get impacted by this. But as far as the next 10 days are concerned, we're really definitely seeing the south central, the deep south, and the southeastern United States see the most impacts from this. All right, now by this point, I did want to zoom back into the Caribbean and just show you guys that, again, we're only in those purplish, maybe some pinks showing up there, maybe a little bit of those more darker yellows, uh, which is going to indicate areas with more moderate amounts of dust. This isn't going to completely block out the opportunity for tropical activity. So again, this is June 29th. I think that tropical activity will begin to become possible again around this point and maybe afterwards, obviously, we will see less and less dust as this is moving from east to west. So as you can see, uh, we're seeing more blues show up there on the very, very eastern side of this map here, and that's eventually going to move into the entire Caribbean. So tropical activity will still be possible in the time frame we mentioned beforehand.
Now for today's comment of the day, I asked you guys yesterday, how do you want July to be? Do you want it to be like June or do you want it to be different? And Kirk Wilson said, I want July cool, just like most of June was here in Alabama. And if I lived in Alabama, I'd probably understand why you think that as well. It's probably been quite pleasant throughout the month of June for a lot of you in the deep south and the southeast. And I'm I'm really glad for you guys because I know you guys deal with a lot of that heat that can be dangerous at times as well. So it's been quite pleasant and I hope it stays that way for you throughout the month of July as well. And anyway, guys, Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, be sure to share it with your friends, family, and social media. I will see you guys in the next video.